Hello guys, welcome back to the channel here. And what a day to be doing the midweek update for Uranium. Tomorrow, I think, before the Open, yes, before the, the US Open, the market open, <laughs> that is, we have Cameco coming out with their Q4 and the press release, again, the, the exact uh, time, I don't know, but I think it is pre-market at eight o'clock, so one hour before the markets open. Don't, don't quote me on this, but roughly in that scenario. And uh, there are high hopes. And I think if we have a bullish a bullish um, take away from that, I think that the chart looks absolutely primed to go higher. Um, it really does. So with that said, like, subscribe, comment, do your thing. And by the way, by the way, uh, last week, I did, I challenged myself to do 1,000 push-ups in, in one day. I did it. And yes, my body was wasted the day after. But again, I challenge you tomorrow to do as many push-ups as you can. Be true to yourself. And the amount that you do during that day tomorrow, you post in the comments for this video. Okay. And again, be true to yourself. You only cheat yourself by lying. So now today I did roughly 400. 375 so again a good day very good day i'm getting a bit i like doing those push-ups so yeah comment below how high can you go and with all that gibberish out of the way uranium where are we in time okay let's see let's see as usual spot price again at 103 bucks again bit of a down week here again but again look at that move up here by the way this will be a a clean chart no lines on the monthly just to mix it up a bit here otherwise you'll just see the same thing over and over and we'll just do you know a clean chart and maybe put in some lines just to look at some levels i also have some some stocks here that i find very interesting on the monthly again nothing new major i will, I will call it a blow off top here again i do think and hope that we will get some sort of sideways action up here between 100 and 130 looks fantastic to me uh, here we have the ura Again, look at it here, roughly 13 years worth of trading. Fukushima, boom, bear market, bear market again. Tiny, tiny squeeze here. Then we had the March 2020 madness here. Huge capitalization low here. And then we had a one, two, three, four, five Elliott wave up. Before we had that, very drawn out, very, how to say, time consuming is not the correct word, but you know, we had 18 months worth of sideways action here finally we broke and now we're actually trying to get above that you know 2021 high again this is a typical place for people to that has you know taken that trade there to ex to actually exit but again in my view this is the first wave of a massive elite wave this is the second wave and the third wave is about to begin I do think then when this is, you know, one to five is over, we will be up here somewhere. And then you could argue that that is a major cup and then we might need a few years for the handle. But again, that's way into the future. We shouldn't be worried about that for now. So again, here on the monthly, we are actually trying here a close above, you know, the level 31 point, I think it is 31.5, give or take, that is the big, big level. Yes, we also have a massive level here, as you know. So I am very bullish that we are actually very soonly about to go higher. So you can see that we're teasing with it. And I actually think, I actually do think that the chemical press release tomorrow could be the thing that is finally pushing through. And if and when we do, getting about that high there, we are in for a run. That is my take. Okay, that was a long talk about URA, but again, Looks fantastic, you know my take. Same thing here again, the bullish consolidation. I want to show you here as well, we are now above the 2021 highs. Beautiful candle there. Again, overall, very, very bullish structure for the URNM. Um, URNJ, I lied, there were some drawings there. Again, we don't have much data, but again, we have some big green candles, small red candles on the monthly, massive green candle there again. The month is still young, but again, looks good. URNM against the spot price, 
I lied. I have lines here. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm just going to delete them. Again, you know this one here. A, that is the squeeze that we're looking at. So, right, we have the squeeze there, the, the one, two, three, four, five. Again, the third leg, lower low, hopefully. This is where we charge. And then, ladies and gentlemen, that's the big one. Also note, we are actually all the way back to where, you know, late December, you know, November, where the initial first leg up started for the arena miners. So this actually, you know, a decent place to start the next leg up again. It makes sense, right? It really does. So XLE against URNM. I want to show you that we have a massive, you know, roughly ceiling just around there. Let's make it green just so you can see it a bit better on your screen. We have a massive ceiling there. Also, I think we will go, go down to make some sort of initially a double bottom here. So again, XLE right now underperforming the URNM, which is nice to see. And um and yeah, when we get down to here, we will see what happens. But for now, I do think we're in for some sort of a double bottom here. Um, but again, we only have roughly three years worth of trading, four years worth of trading here. So we don't have we don't have much to be honest. But again, you have you know the lines coming out there break. That's the break in favor of URNM. And ever since it has been down. Here we have yes, the URNM against uh, overall commodities. We were working at a double top. That was not my most ideal line right there. But again, we are at a double top. And maybe we need some fizzle before eventually, in my view, we will go higher. Um, and also, the break here, you can see exactly where you are. And then, you know, started to outperform again here, you know, September 2023, with a beautiful inverted head and shoulders right there. So again, double top, we might need some time to put in the handle. But again, overall, Heavily bullish on URNM when we measure against overall commodities. URNM here against Bitcoin. I do think that actually we have a decent setup here. Again, we don't know which direction. However, we have something like this, right? Coming across here to one, two, three, four, and then hopefully we can start to break to the upside and start to outperform um, the Bitcoin. That would be Heavily, I think it's heavily underrated right now how important, in my view, that is actually to, to, to outperform the Bitcoin. You want them against the Nasdaq. I want to show you something absolutely amazing, in my view. I don't know if you agree, but I'm going to show you right here. There you can see monthly closes. And actually, right now, you can see here trying to make it a support, roughly, you know, this zone right here. Um, so hopefully again, you know, the chemical tomorrow will be the one who starts to make the wick there on the monthly and we can go higher. So again, ideally we want to, you know, keep these highs here, you know, at roughly uh, uh, 0 0.0032 roughly, give or take. But anyways, overall, I like the setup here for URNM against the NASDAQ. Beautiful. Same thing here again, um, as you can see for, for the SPY, we have, we have a you know a roughly that was the triangle there the breakout massive week a monthly candle there and now we have right there across again 2021 highs trying to flip it as support the wick over there over there and um, overall looks really really good here again small handle here you actually have a triangle there if you go onto the daily you can see that we have a, a pennant right there and um, so we're definitely in the favor for URNM, still, still we are. XLE against the SPX, uh, not the most ideal setup for XLE right now. Again, going back, you know, here, January 2022, energy sector heavily started to outperform the SPX. Now we have the opposite. We do have, you know, a topping pattern here, neckline broken. Uh, so until we hopefully get back above, then, you know, SPX is in favor against the XLE. There is no denying that. Maybe if we add in here to see you, yep, that's also a massive trend line break right there. And um, so definitely, definitely the SPX right now is outperforming oil and gas, which is mostly XLE. So if not only the spot price here against Bitcoin, the spot price here against Bitcoin, uh, I want to show you, I have to, I have to add in a line here otherwise, because I'm not that good at, you know, drawing perfect perfect lines here i think roughly something around here yep there it is 
that's a very important trend line here. And right now we are to some degree, I wouldn't call it squeezing below there. And yet again, you can see here that pennant, which I drew very badly. There it is. If this resolves to the upside, holy moly, the ring spot price will be in for a blast. Again, we could get rejected and come down, obviously. But this triangle here should be on your radar. And at least it is for me. Here we have uranium spot price against gold. You know the line. Boom, there it is. Massive, massive inverted head and shoulders. A 10-year-long inverted head and shoulders. Neckline broken September 2023. Ever since, it has been a rocket ship. For URX, uh, uranium spot price against gold. Lovely. Same thing for silver. Roughly there. Massive inverted head and shoulders. Boom, blast off. Again, heavily outperformance. I've said this. A thousand times. I think 2024 will be amazing year for gold and silver. And I do think that this one will come down. Uh, again, for the retest, I actually still believe that is the case. It doesn't mean that the uranium spot price will go down. It just means gold and silver will outperform heavily. Um, potentially, obviously. If we get that big pause for like half a year, uh, between 100 and 130, that makes total sense in my view. Quickly, some stocks here again. What I'm, you know, this is a very small one, BSK. Look at it there, beautiful symmetry, beautiful breakout on the BSK. Keep in mind, it's only a $20 million company. But again, boom, that is very nice for me. Do your own due diligence. Also here we have um, we have um, Denison Mines with you know some beautiful breakout. We can copy this one here down to roughly there. So the, the, uh, the channel is broken, actually retested there. On the tiny bit, you know, boom, and then we're blasting off. We are above the the um, the 2021 highs. In my view, the next level that we will go to is probably somewhere, you know, 4.3, give or take. Pivot low, pivot high, makes sense, right? FCU, monthly, again, I had a line there. <laughs> I, did, I said we wouldn't have any lines on. Breakout, retesting now, actually trying to, as long as we're above this golden trend line, hugely bullish. A beautiful bull flag right there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, this is quick. It's just to give you some ideas. Same thing again here. Boom, right across there, roughly. There it is. And also you have this very beautiful bull flag right there. And um, yep, that, that was the entry in 2020. Uh, in 2020, bull flagging, resuming higher, looks fantastic. We have some resistance, you know, at the flag high there, which is also aligned, you know, roughly you know, at 1.3, that will be resistance. When and if we get through, beautiful. Mega, you know my take on mega uranium. I want to actually put in some lines, uh, you know, anyways, roughly something like here, we are breaking a 10 year long base, breaking out here. It has been quite a run here. So let's see also that beautiful triangle just right below there, a touch there, and then we blast it through on the fourth touch, more or less, beautiful stuff. Last but not least, last but not least, same thing again here at Sky Harbor. Boom, roughly a line like this, a massive double-headed inverted head and shoulders. Yes, there is a double-headed. But my criteria for the double-headed is that the lows of the heads there should be almost the exact same. But anyways, it is beautiful in my view, this one, in a bull flag right now, we'll blast off to the upside there for Sky Harbor. Beautiful stuff. This trend line here, how does that act in? Oh, beautiful, you know, breakout there, bullish consolidation above, in my view. Yes, we are blasting higher until proven otherwise. I didn't know that I could talk that fast, but anyway, I'm surprising sometimes, surprisingly, uh, yeah, myself there. Tomorrow, Cameco? I'm excited to see what happens pre-market. Again, I think the last two were pretty damn bullish. Um, you know, the sentiment were pretty bullish after the Chemico uh, Q3 and Q2. Again, let's see what happens. Tomorrow could be a big day. It could, could also be a fiasco. No matter what, I think tomorrow will be heavily, heavily um, influenced by volatility in the arena market. Hopefully, it will be to the upside. Looking at URNM on the daily here, I mean, hopefully we can blast higher. Again, the daily is mostly noise right now, but again, you can see the, you know, the beautiful weekly breakout retest. And if we get resumption tomorrow, oh boy. With those words, guys, have a great day. And tomorrow, 
we will see what happens. Volatility is the name of the game tomorrow. That is my prediction. So stay safe. Bye.